Hi, Justin. Thank you for being here today. Uh, I had a, first a yes or no question for you and then a follow-up. Okay, and, and this is unfortunately going to be the second last question and the last question over there. So uh, I'll, let you, I'll let you go with it with your yes or no and then your other one. Okay, great. Yeah. Appreciate it. So uh, throughout this conversation, you've talked about values-based leadership and pollution. Uh, I, I just wanted to first ask, are you familiar with the repercussions of using depleted uranium in munitions in, our, in overseas wars? Uh, Yes, I'm okay. familiar that it's a very bad thing. Okay, great. Now, uh, through our alliance with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, uh, we've been involved in several campaigns in bombing uh, civilian populations in Libya and, and other North African countries. Uh, and it's been proven uh, through science and uh, the evidence based on the ground that depleted uranium has been used in munitions and will last decades uh, and scar generations of children and families. Was it used by Canadian, uh, Canadian military? It, well, through military? our alliance with the North Atlantic Treaty okay, so, Organization. So NATO, other NATO partners have, have used Yeah, it. so our involvement in those wars. And so I want to ask you, how would you challenge uh, NATO in uh, the, against these wars and in using depleted uranium? Well, I think, I think using depleted uranium is the same kinds of questions we have to ask ourselves about uh, the fact that Canada, to, to be sort of in, in a more general general sense that I think more people will be familiar with as an issue, Canada was very, very pri proud to be signatories of the uh, landmines ban treaty. Uh, it was a number of years ago when the Liberal government was in charge. Uh, and one of the elements of that treaty is we're not supposed to operate in theaters or with allies who are still using landmines. Uh, whereas the United States continues to use landmines uh, in certain situations to protect uh, some of their bases. So it's a broader question than just depleted uranium. No, but specifically on depleted uranium, how would you challenge NATO on using that? I, I, I challenge NATO to, to continue to, uh, you know, to, to understand uh, the impact of security interventions and even wars around the world is supposed to be to bring peace and security. Uh, and there are certain types of munitions, obviously chemical weapons, which have been banned in the Geneva Convention, uh, that are uh, not to be used, and depleted uranium uh, is certainly not something that I think should be, uh, should be used either, but it's not an issue that I have a tremendous amount of awareness of, and I thank you very much for bringing it forward. So and would you step forward like, okay, on using that? I look, I, I look forward to getting more informed about, about the issue, and I thank you for bringing it up, because it's the first time in, in, in all these Q&As that someone has brought it forward, so I thank you very okay. much. And thank you, you very much. If you send me some information, I'd be more in, in, interested in you hearing betcha. about it. Thank you, thank Justin. You.